The K reads ball is in the air and industry must make sure they hit it on time. Already, before the end of this month, all companies are required to pre-register all their existing substances they manufacture in or import into Korea over one ton per year. This will allow them to benefit from the grace periods of the K-READ registration and continue to stay in business. While all eyes are currently on the pre-registration ball, we will already discuss the tactics and strategies for reaching the home plate by submitting the dossier. No home runs in K-READ. All bases have to be touched. Something I will discuss with Jihan Kim from Chemtopia and Jeff Lee from Procter & Gamble. Welcome. Jeff, let's start with the pre-registration. What are the key requirements now for that pre-notification? Yeah, when you're doing the pre-registration, you need to collect at least uh, the chemical identity. You need to understand what is your volume tier and also what is the hazard classification. And very important, what is the usage of the chemical. Okay, and what happens if companies do not have sufficient information due to CBI issues? There was actually a very recent notice uh, published by MOE saying that if you truly have that difficulty, you need to inform MOE. So in that sense, there is some flexibility given by the MOE. You can get to the agreement from government saying you can do that. But you need to justify, you, you tried the efforts to get the information, but eventually you have difficulty to obtain those kind of CBI information. Jihan, in case you need to appoint an own representative, what are the challenges? Actually, to submit the pre-registration, we have to appoint the foreign manufacturer, have to appoint the OR first and get an approval from the authority. And it takes more than two to three days to get an approval. And it takes time to start the real submission of the pre-registration. Reaching second base is probably the most difficult part, substance identification. Jihoon, what is your experience with this? So after June 30, in depth discussion within the CIC is really required to check the substance sameness. Then once the identification is done, you need to generate a dossier. Eh? For that, you need data. Uh, do you expect data challenges? Another big challenge I would, uh, I would anticipate because uh, naturally we may think that uh, with the EU reach completion, the things might be getting easier. It could be. Yeah, but uh, something we need to understand is that although the data, si data set m looks similar, but uh, it does not mean you can use all the data from uh, EU reach that easily. Yeah, but is it okay. referred to use EU data or...? Yeah, I think that definitely uh, industry would, uh, would go first to the EU data because it may be, it may be more readily available. Yeah, and it would also yeah. help to avoid potential conflicts between test results. That, that, that should be considered. After a dossier has been submitted, eh, NIER, the National Institute for Environmental Research, they perform a hazard review and risk assessment. What do they check? Mm, once we submit the registration dossier, NIER pre-evaluates the submitted dossier to check the compliance in 30 days which means NIER screens all the submitted documents like using exposure information in classification in CSR as well to check the, the, the dossier's compliance to give us the registration number. Once the registration number has been issued, the further in-depth P evaluation is followed accordingly. So, but in, in, in short, NIER has, after submission of the dossier, 30 days to do a completeness check, basically, and then you get a registration yeah. number. And then after that time, they go in-depth into evaluation. How long will they take for that? Is there a limited time set for the, uh, for the evaluation, or they can do it whenever they want? The, under the carriage registration, in-depth P evaluation is, takes about six months to a year okay. to... And once they come check the P evaluation for the, the to check the substances hazards and risk the hazard evaluation risk assessment, they might requesting the registrant to submit additional data to support the substances hazards or exposures. Okay. A final question: How is K reached enforced? Are there measures for non-compliance? I'm not seeing it right now yet. It's not in that stage. But eventually, 
government will come back, really enforce the regulation, place more audit, more market surveillance. At that time, I think probably there will be more questions. Jihan and Jeff, thank you very much for your contribution. Uh, Jeff, for Procter & Gamble and other companies, it's now time to play ball. I wish you a lot of success with that. Uh, and I'm sure we touch base again on Cage Reach the coming years. <laughs>